So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. It is that game series where we play 3 random games all from over the internet or within the confinements of this singular video. Plus also placing that logo straight on top of my forehead. Now before we get too high octane, how about we go ahead and tone it down a level because today I'm feeling kind of relaxed. Now in the past I've tried this with 3 random games and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So we're going with the whole formula of 3 games, 15 minutes each spending with that editing, no more. And so with that said we're going to get straight into this episode and I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one. Because we're playing three games, or within a singular video. Why'd I have to blink then? Now the first game we're going to be checking out is called Stone House Orphanage. This was made, I think, for the two-minute game jam. It's meant to be a short horror experience where some crazy bullcrap happens. That's all you need to know. Let's play this good. Oh my gosh! W A S D keys to move. All right, Chief. I'll go ahead and do that. Ooh, this sounds really ghostly, right? Let's take a look at these portraits. Use the left mouse to interact. All right, let's take a look at this one here. Nope. Okay, this one? Nope. Never mind. Can we open the front door? We can't, so we don't want to leave this place. Oh, we're knocking. Hello, sister. Whoa. Welcome to the Stone House Orphanage. I'm Sister Maria. What can I do for you? I'm investigating a report of children going missing from your establishment last year. Also, your face looks really, really bad. What the freak happened? I guess we say that. Runaways, not missing, my dear lamb. It's unfortunate that not all souls accept the care we provide. Do come in, let me show you around. Okay. Okay, do you walk around like that all the time? This is our sitting room. As you can see, we interview a perspective. Can you slow down? Sometimes I read the children if they're well behaved. Okay, why don't we talk here? Well, I'm trying to, but you're talking way too quick. Okay, we got kids' toy blocks down here. We can take a look out the window and see nothing. Place looks somewhat decent, I suppose, for the time. She is focused on me like a magnet. Look at that, dude. Let's start talking then. Very well, let us begin. Let's indeed begin. What do you wish to know? Do you run the orphanage by yourself? Who were the children who were missing? Where are the children now? I want to see the rest of the orphanage. Uh, maybe we should ask the first one? I do indeed. Uh. It's a lifetime of work, but it truly is my calling. Who were the children who went missing? Where are the children? Let's ask that one. Around, dear. There. Around? They're very independent. I'm a little shy. Who were the children who went missing? Two little boys, five and ten years old. I'm afraid I can't tell you their names. Wait, why can't you tell us? It's to protect their privacy, you understand? But lady, they're missing and I need to find them. I want to see the rest of the orphanage. Very well, let's continue. The door opened. So are you going to take the lead or me? Because... Yeah, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Dude, look how tall she is as well, my gosh. Let's go on through. So, this is the kitchen. What? Whoa, she just face shifted. Everyone takes turns cooking. We all take care of each other. Watch out for each other, you know? I just finished preparing the soup for tonight. Mmm, smells delicious. Why don't you try some? Um, yeah, I I'm good, actually. This must be like an olden times thing. You see this old, like, rustic style? Okay, can I honestly avoid trying it? Let me just open the door. The door is locked. I don't want the soup, but can we just go on through? No? Okay, we'll take a spoonful of the soup. The pot is full of rust-colored soup. What is it you usually eat? What do you think the children want? Oh, no, we're good, sweet lamb. Of that you can be certain. Is this what you usually eat? Our meals change day to day. We eat whatever we can come by. And you say everyone is happy here? I trust in the Lord to provide. Well, that explains that. Let's take a sip. It churns in your stomach. Oh, boy. I do not like that description. Are you finished? Come along, then. It's gone through. Um... Hold on. And make the prayers in the evening. We missed some dialogue, guys. You're looking a bit unsteady, my dear. Yeah, why's all the kids, though? Why don't you lie down for a bit? Uh, you may leave your camera there on the tray. Um, look, I think I'm actually gonna go home, so I'll be seeing you. Okay, hold on. And we don't even try and open the front door, so we're literally gonna abide by what the lady says. There really is nothing more I can do here, guys, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I guess, go over and do this. We'll put the camera on the tray. There we go. The freak, we can actually see us. Can we talk to her? Oh, dang, look at the size of this woman. All right, we're gonna go to bed, man. We're four foot two. Let's sleep this off, man. That's much better. Uh, what? Just rest, little lamb. Oh my gosh. Yo, she's made of worms in the back. What is that thing doing? Uh, what? what? Yeah, we died. <laughs> so this next game is called Perfect Vermin. It looked really interesting, and I think it involves like monsters hiding themselves as furniture, and our job is to go ahead and exterminate them. So let's play this good stuff. Here we go, guys. What could go so wrong, huh? An elevator. 
Five seconds. WS needs to move. Let's go on out of here. Ooh. You can, like, office music. Hold on. Open the door. Okay, break down the door then. Oh. Uh, check our right. Check our left. Why the freak these vermin are? They could be any one of these. What's the telltale signs, huh? Analyze the situation. Oh, these looking kind of normal, I guess. However, this chair seems very out of place. How about we test our look? Yeah, we were right, I guess. This game here, guys, look really cool. So we have to walk around the office and I guess try and find things that don't quite fit the agenda. So let's keep looking. This plant, first of all, looks suspect. Let's hit it. Oh, can we not just open doors? Why do we have to like break them down? Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Now, hold on, I read... Bro, what the freak is that? You're dead. Do we listen for things that sound out of the ordinary? This computer is running. Not anymore. Nope. And it was actually fine. Okay, this chair is suspect. There you go, that's number three. Two fridges. Um, this one looks weird. Yeah, there you go. Do we keep cracking this thing? Let's go. <laughs> How about the fire exit door? I think it's not gonna budge. So we've got to find two more things. What seems out of place? Let's check in this room here. Hello? Coming through? Where the freak this vermin at? Let's check in this room here, guys. So we break this down. Okay, office chairs. Now this looks suspect. So you, I already knew you were that vermin. I think there's one last room here and it's the bathroom. So yoink. Oh, these apart from this one are locked. So we're coming on through. A toilet using a toilet. That don't work like that, dude. Uh, return to the elevator so you can try this again. Okay, wait, what? So now it's like he's watching this show? This is actually really, really cool. Yeah, look, bro, wait up. I'm doing it right now, okay? We're in the elevator. The door's closed. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah. Bringing in those sweet jams. It's like a little computer screen there. Okay, do it again, but better. I, I did it just fine. I thought I did a good job. So let's go ahead and do this, I guess. Wait, we got a time limit? Do I have to do it in this small monitor view as well? Uh, okay, this one here. Yoink. Okay, where's the next one? Uh, yeah, this one here. You can be broken. There we go. Keep going. Yep, thank you very much. Break this one down. Let's see. Uh, you. We break this one too. There we go. There's one more. Just one left. Uh, where the freak was it again? I don't think it was in here. Was it over the other side? Might be in here, guys. Let's break this one down. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it was the fridge. So there you go. Get done. This building has more. More chambers that need cleansing? So do we go back to the elevator again? Uh, okay, dude. It's really weird playing in this small view. Can I, like, you know, go full screen again? Uh, wait, here we go. Okay, we're full screen. Thank you for hearing my cries. So, we're going on to a different level. Hey, uh, come on, bro. No nonsense this time. You're not looking good. Wait, this dude does not look good. Do you see his hand? He had, like, a dot in the middle? Uh... All right, let's get this done. So we've got a time limit. You are suspects. Get the freak out of here. Crush them. Okay, let's see. All of these I think seem normal. Go in this one here. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Wait, is that another door? Yeah, there you go. No, do not feel pain. Keep going. Okay, that right there. You are suspect. Let's go in the bathroom one more time. Okay, a chair washing his hands. I don't think so. Nothing in that one. Let's see. It's waiting for you? Probably in this room here. So we'll break this down. Let's see. What doesn't look right? A toilet looking in the fridge. Doesn't happen. Uh, that took longer than expected. What the heck is wrong with him? Look at his face. I need you to work faster. Return to the elevator. The next floors are contaminated. Um, this doesn't feel right at all. Even the elevator seems like it's a bit contaminated. This floor's geometry has become uncooperative. So the floor itself? Work quickly. Uh, okay, we'll do our best. We'll break this down. Uh, yeah, this is strange. So, you are suspect. I think it's the floor we saw before, but reversed. And this one here, let's see. What doesn't look right? This here? Okay, there you go. Keep going. Uh, I am. I'm trying my best. So, in the bathroom, we had this dude there, so we'll smash that toilet. Okay, two more things left. Uh, also, I do think they feel pain, mister, whatever your name is. Okay, there's the chair. We'll break that one. And I think the last one might be in here, so we'll smash this through. And it was the fridge, so hit that. Okay, we missed it. Wait. What's going on? Can I not break this? Uh, hold up. What's going on? I can't break the fridge. Is this supposed to happen? Hold up. Um, this floor's... Wait, is it blaming me for that? Right, how about we go for this first? So, there you go. That's all that needed to happen. Let's see here. It was this chair right here. Two more things left. We need to find the bathroom. And I believe there's one just in here. So, coming on through. Yoink! You are definitely a demon. Let's go ahead and take care of the toilet within the toilet. So, smash the door down. There we go. That's all we needed to do? Oh, this dude's gone like goth. You see those nails, though? Just go. Wait. Am I not doing your job, though? Do you not want me to continue doing this? Do we just leave then? I guess he wants us to exit the building. Please go. We'll get in the elevator. 
Um, send me down to ground level. Actually, don't know what's about to happen next, guys. This game's getting interesting. It's like the vermin is also inside of him. Wait, what about if one of those things which is pretending to be an ornament is also pretending to be him? Is this 10 seconds? What? This is trippy. Oh, this is cool. So we can kind of like use both of our sides to, I guess, piece together what we got to do. I'll focus on the left one for now. Okay, you're out of place. We'll take that one out. Let's see in this one here. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. There we go. There's that. Out of place there. There we go. Okay, so this is nearly all of them done. And then we've got the chair. Now we focus on the one on the right. Let's get this done nice and quick. Okay, that one there. I think there's one in here too. Number two there. Yeah, we should be good with this, guys. Number three. Okay, this chair here as well. Number four. One more left. Let's double check in this room real quick. Okay, that looks fine. So it's got to be in the bathroom. Uh, there we go. And we'll break that one. So we did it, right? That's 10 vermin clear. Um, what the heck is going on? How about we just leave? Okay, we have to do this. Uh, break the door. What the heck has happened to this guy? I always hated my mother. It's getting personal. I lived in terror. Dude, what the frick's coming on? Like, I lived in terror of being like her? What horrible comedy. That's in the end. He's the same, right? He's not happy about it. Wait, I can't even read this, guys. Can we reach that? Frick. What is happening, though? Bro, your task was always impossible. Now it feels impossible. I can't do this. Look. My hope was never fair. I offer this as an explanation. I offer no excuses. Take this one right here. There we go. Do not worry yourself with the timer. It is not for you. Who's it for then? I am being unborn. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm out of the window, guys. Let's go. And once again, I'm amused by the simple beauty of colors. Such abstract and fleeting things. I'm more interested in his dialogue right now, dude. I will unknow them. It was good to live. So, what happens now? It was good. If only I had more time. What is happening, man? Ah, uh, break these. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Third one, third one. Woof. Do we keep going through? We've got to fight the wall behind us, so. And that's it, that's it. Be efficient. Woo! Can we take a look behind us? We've got some good ground, guys. Breaking our way out of this mess. Is this like the building? I don't even know what's happening. There you go. One more, one more, one more. Let's get out. Wait, what? We're in a doctor's lounge? We have paperwork. Wait, this don't sound right. We're in a doctor's area. Should we open the... Someone's coming. Uh... They're in the room with us, right? They're there. Whatever this is, it needs to be quick. There's been... Mr. Spitz, please sit down. We need to discuss your test results. There's been an accident. A massacre downtown. It... That will have to wait. No! This will wait! There are people dying! You are dying! It's what we had feared. The cancer has spread. It's now. What's happening in that office downtown is the perfect story. It's what we will be remembered for. I have to go. We'll treat this cancer. It can wait. It was just in your pancreas alone. It would be inoperable. But it spread to your liver, your lungs, even your bones. My gosh, this just got deep. My estimates, you have four to six months. You need to start putting your affairs in order. I don't have time for this. People need me. This is the story of my career, my life. I can't ignore it. You can't walk out of this office and have this all just go away. No one will care about my death if I don't prove to them that I lived. What? That just got so much deeper than anything I was prepared for. Is that the rest of the game? Like, is that how it finishes? That's literally it, guys. That's perfect vermin all done. That was cool. That was actually really cool, man. Wow, what a concept. Quite clearly then the news anchor was probably the dude who ended up getting his results that we saw at the end. And he ended up going ahead and I guess reporting on what was happening downtown. But it turned out to be his demise also as a result. I feel like this story goes a little bit deeper than what we can kind of see on the surface. And I'm struggling to understand just because I was so focused on like breaking all the furniture and stuff. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below. Either way, let's get that game number three. <laughs> This final game is simply called Grandfather's Book. Uh, I guess we found his book. What happens now is what we're about to experience. Where am I? This is not my room, but I looks familiar. Promising start. It looks like my grandfather's house. 
Okay, when well, he has no doors, but that can't be. And why should I be here? Uh, you tell me, it's your granddad's house, dude. Can we just talk about this plant pos- can you stop, demon? What is going on with the lights? This is crazy. Okay, but he put the plan on top of the radiator, probably producing- Grams, can we stop for one second, buddy? Hello? <laughs> it's here. <laughs> we might have some problems translating this game, but let's roll with the punches. Is here anyone, though? Hang on a second. Grandfather. Is anyone here? The book. The book was not here before. I was too busy focusing on the plant. It must be the book Grandfather found. He was so obsessed by it and cut all contact from others just to read this stupid book. But where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye? I could take a look in it, but to see what it all about. My thoughts exactly. Agony brings fear to the lost souls who read the words. And we're doing that just now, guys. The words shall set the lost free from this world. Uh-oh. What the heck is this kind of book? Why would Grandfather read this? Grandfather's into that freaky stuff. Hang on a second. We're backing off, guys. Grandfather, listen. I don't want to be just like you. I don't even know why I'm here. Can you please help me find the exit, even though there isn't one? He flipped the lights off. He put them back on. He actually gave us the exit. Yo, Grandad, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. Oh. Intense whispering? Can't look in there. We should- Oh! oh! Grandad. Why are you running around the house butt naked, though? I, I must be dreaming. This can't be real? Question mark? Is this a nightmare? Question mark? I must find a way out of this place. Uh, in the cupboard. Language wardrobe. Come on, come on, come on. Grandfather? Uh, I don't really want to go back out here. Let's take a look. This feels ominous, guys. Let's open the door. Please be a different- Uh-oh. This door ain't about to open. His book. We should read from it again. Let's go. This is the same book. How'd it get here? Is it the book? This place was crazy. I felt there was someone here. Granddad's standing in corners naked again. I'm going- am I going insane? Yes, I think so. Okay, so I'm starting to slowly believe now we're in fact Yoda, and we're finally meeting for the first time Yoda's dad. Someone open the door. Grandfather, can we please leave? Hold up. Looks good, guys. Looks good. Okay, dark way there. We're not going that way. There's a new door. Let's go on through. This better be the front door, man. We're out here. See you later, cramps. Uh, oh. That's not what I expected. I don't understand anything! Am I al even alive anymore? There's nothing on the table. <laughs> not that book again. It's all the book. It's nothing to do with Pops. Why does it keep following me? What did I do? It's a good question. There must be a clue in this book I didn't read before. Be a bookworm, guys. The world shall set the lost free from this world, and into another shall the words imprison. Uh-oh. Words imprison? Am I inside the book? Oh, no. I think we are. What's going on? Do we realize our fate? All these candles just appeared around us. And we're backing up. What? Are, are we gonna enter the book? Okay. We seem very, very intrigued by a look at that. Straight down. Read the pages. That might just be the saddest game I've ever played in my life. I can't say anything else. You know, I think problem number one with this game was that our character seemed kind of illiterate, so reading a book, I, I don't even think he probably did it right. Maybe he actually ended up summoning the demons as a result of his poor reading. All right then, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Three Random Games. Those first two games were really, really cool. I like the short and sweet experience that we got from the Sisters Orphanage game. It was very compact and told a story which was very, very easy to read. Perfect Vomit as well. That story went much deeper than what I'd ever expected, and the ending of that game completely took me by surprise and I am honestly still intrigued to even know what was truly going on with that game. Either way though guys, this has been another episode of Three Random Games and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video guys, of course I hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.